We bring you more on the flood situation in Malaysia. City volunteers held two distributions to help 155 families in Rawu Pahang get their lives back to normal. But first up in Kwantan, volunteers went door to door to hand out aid supplies as many have started to return home from the temporary shelters. As the floodwaters recede, in Malaysia's Kwantan, residents are no longer staying at emergency shelters. Tagging along with city volunteers on home visitations is Zubir, who is a flood survivor himself. My furniture was destroyed, but helping others makes me happy. On top of which my family is safe, so I should lend a hand when possible. Due to the heavy flooding, Zubir's vegetable farm will be in operation for at least three months. As city volunteers were unfamiliar with the flooded regions, they found Zanuddin to show them the team where disaster victims lived. Zanuddin was inspired to help upon seeing the selflessness of the volunteers. My house wasn't flooded, but I want to help those affected. Although I'm limited in my ability, I can still contribute my share to help those who need assistance. City volunteer Wang Yongzhen was worried about his father in Kalantan until he heard from neighbors in the next village over that his father evacuated safely to a relative's house. In my mind, since I can return to Kalantan to help, if I'm helping in other affected areas, then it's the same. Despite sweating in their rain boots, volunteers forge on to the next care recipient's home, leaving love and care in their wake. Meanwhile in Pahang, this is the first time flood victims can pray in peace since the disaster. On this day, city volunteers from Kuala Lumpur are holding two relief distributions in Lipas village. Volunteers present consolation cash to flood survivors, and though this is their first encounter with Tsuji, many recipients donated what they could to the bamboo coin banks. The students are about to start school again, and the stationery they purchased was damaged by the flood. And now they are broke. This is the first time a non-government organization has given us assistance. I'm very grateful for Tsuji's help. I'm so thankful for Tsuji's assistance. What you gave us isn't just monetary support, but also spiritual support. Thank you. Volunteers treat each villager like families as Lipus residents feel the warmth radiating from their hearts.